Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you amazing shortcuts to navigate your table data and showcase it to your boss like a pro. The first thing we're going to do is if we've got a whole bunch of data here, we can select Control and A, that's going to select all of our data, or we can select Control, Shift and Space Bar, that's going to select it all as well. Then if we press Control and T, that's going to create a table for us. That's the range that we want. And so we say, okay. Now we've got our very first table to start working with. Now, if we have a bunch of data and it can be in a table, but it doesn't have to be, we just select Control, Shift and L, and that's going to give us all of the filters that we can use at any time. Now, what if we're in a meeting with our boss or our team and we want to easily show the data that we're filtering? We can select anywhere in our table and we can go to Table Design and Insert Slicer. Let's say we want to filter by the job title. So we're going to select Job Title over here, increase that size a little bit. And now we can select any of these and it's just going to come up nice and easily for each of the ones. You can see there's a few directors, a few managers, a few senior analysts, and it's such an easy way to filter that everyone can see. If we want to select a few at a time, we can select these multiple tick buttons and then select three here. As you can see, they all come up. And if we've finished with it, we can remove it with clear filter over here and we can select the slicer and delete that at any time. Now what happens if we've got a bunch of data in our table and we just want to calculate the sum of all of that data, all we have to do is select the empty cell at the end and press Alt equals. And that's going to give us an automatic sum for all of those items right at the end. Now that we've done that, let's say we're in our meeting and we want to see the top three or the lowest three salaries for each of these items. All we have to do is say equals large, open up our bracket, the area that we want is all of the salaries that we want to see the top or the lowest ones from, put a comma, and then do we want the top, the second top, or the third top? Let's put that number in there. And I've got one, two, three here, so I'm just going to select this one. So it's going to be number one, the number one top. Now there is a little trick that we need to use. If we select in our formula with our salary ranges here, and we select that, if we press F4, that's going to give us the dollar signs so that that does not move every time we drag this down. That's important. Those dollar signs are important because when we drag this down, it will change uh, this one on the left here, the one, two, and three, but it won't change the annual salaries that we're looking into. So if we drag this all the way down, as you can see, we've got the top one, two, and three salaries, but it also works on the other end. Let's say we want the smallest one. We just say equals small, and we want to open up our bracket. The array that we're choosing is all of our salaries again. And again, let's press F4 and make sure that they have all of those dollar signs so it doesn't move. Let's put the comma and then we're looking for the, the most smallest, which is number one. And we're gonna select that next to it, close our bracket, and that is the smallest salary. If we drag that down, that's the bottom three smallest salaries. Now let's say we're in our meeting and we've got all of this data on the right hand side, but we don't know if there's any mistakes in it and we want to see where those formulas have come from. There's a few quick things we can do. If we select this formula here and press control and left bracket, that's actually going to jump automatically to the range that we're looking at. Likewise, if we select that annual salary, and if we press control right bracket, it's going to jump to the formulas that are using those annual salaries. Now, if we want to open these up and see the formulas, we can actually go to formulas and show formulas, or we can just press control and the tilde button next to the one. That's going to open up our entire table, but most importantly, it's going to show us all of the formulas right next to it. Now, if we click in that formula, we can go to formulas and trace precedence. And if we do that, it's actually going to give us arrows that show where those formulas are coming from. We can remove those arrows just by selecting remove arrows at the top. And if we wanted a shortcut for that, we could select Alt, T, U, and T. And that's going to give us the uh, arrows automatically. That is a great way to check our work and make sure that there are no mistakes and that the formulas are in the right place. Now, lastly, if we want to quickly create a pivot table from this data, so a normal table is not enough, we want a pivot table, we want to press Alt, N, V, and T, and that's going to give us our box. It's selected the range for us automatically, and we just need to click OK for our pivot table. And those are a whole bunch of ways to use tables, shortcuts, and showcase these to your team in amazing ways. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video.